Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tesla Update, uh, August 2023. Um, today, we're going to talk about uh, components. Um, <clears throat> in particular, we'll talk about all the components today and uh, what's happening. Where are they? Are they coming? What's available? All right. Let's start probably with the ones that are the most available of all of them currently, um, which is uh, which is bullets. So um, Hornady bullets, the poor bullets are coming in. Um, they they seem to be uh, pretty much available across the board. Maybe a couple of different SKUs that uh, um, that are still a bit hard to get, but uh, even uh, um, 143 ELDX um, and 338 Lapua. Um, just an example, some of the ones that have been hard to kind of get in the last year or so, they, they they're coming in and uh, and they're in stock. So so that's 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 good. Um, we've been able to start getting in some burger bullets. They're still hard to get, but they're trickling in. So that's that's a good sign. Um, we like to have um, um, red, blue, and and uh, and yellow boxes uh, on the shelf. Um, so it's looking pretty good for bullets. Uh, we'll see how it how it kind of uh, uh, pans out for the rest of the year, and uh, um, and as people start kind of uh, getting ready for the next reloading season. But so far, uh, the bullets are looking good. Um, Brass, uh, brass is kind of all over the place. Um, the um, um, some of the brass has been really hard to get. It's, it started trickling in. Um, 300 PRC, 33 Lapua, um, the um, uh, um, uh, 6.5 PRC came in after long, long, long wait. Um, even uh, Lapua's 2 to 3 brass uh, has been coming in. The um, the the um, the skews that are on hold by Lapua um, are getting more and more scarce, so those are going to be harder and harder to get. Um, like seven mil weight and and Palma, like three weight Palma, uh, those are going to be quite um, uh, quite difficult. They are already difficult to get, and they are going to be near impossible to get for until Lapua restarts production. Um, the um, there are other brands that are that are producing brass, but they're also hard to get. Because um, there's such a uh, such a kind of big vacuum created by um, um, by uh, some of the um, some of the manufacturers not being able to pump out huge volumes, um, but in general um, it's relatively available. Um, again, other than that, that than the products that uh, Lapua has put on hold, the other ones are coming in, um, and they have been um, they ha we have been able to acquire them at least uh, um, in, in last uh, half a year or so. Um, then what about uh, what about powder? Um, powder is going to continue being uh, an issue. Victoria powder, which is the main one of the main brands that we carry, um, continues to be you, what you see here, kind of in the uh, behind me is probably last couple of kilos that we um, have available, and probably these are probably on, already on, on hold for for some customers. Um, and um, and the um, powder is going to be difficult to get um, for foreseeable future. Um, and uh, um, on the on the good side of things, um, looks like the North American powders are becoming more available. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to pick uh, uh, to kind of fi fill in fill in the gap. Um, but as far as the European powders, are we probably going to be uh, 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 struggle to um, uh, to have those available for uh, uh, for some foreseeable future. Um, and then we get to the the hardest component to get, which is primers. Um, well, the news is better than it was even a few weeks ago. The primers have started appearing, um, like. This I just wanted to show because this has been a it, it's been so long we've seen larger rifle primers here um, that we actually didn't believe in some of them showed up. Um, the um, the primers are coming in, not a full spectrum. Um, looks like the uh, the small pistol, small rifle primers, which are sort of at the the large bulk of the um, um, uh, of the primer market, so so to say, um, are more readily available. The um, uh, the the large pistol and large rifle primers uh, are uh, still relatively hard to get. Uh, large rifle primers are, are actually quite hard to get. And then when you get into move into the uh, Magnum 
Um, Magnum rifle primers, that they're still extremely difficult to get. I mean, um, we have been recommending everybody, if you can, if you need some, get whatever you can get your hands on because uh, it, it, they're quite difficult to get. Um, the um, There seems to be some um, indications that this is going to change towards better. Um, as I said, primers started trickling in. Uh, we see them uh, more and more brands kind of uh, um, reappearing uh, slowly. Um, and we started getting some some sm small, but at least we're getting some deliveries on them. Um, and the um, and there's news about a couple of primer factories coming online, so that is that is good. Um, what we haven't seen yet is the is the price going in the right direction. Price has been going uh, up, up, up uh, for the primers. Uh, it does seem to have stabilized, um, so we haven't. We haven't seen the significant uh, price increase in uh, Nick in last say um, three to six months, um, and uh, um, of course for the consumers that looks like a uh, they're like probably thinking of well, what are you talking about? Last time we had primers, but last time we had primers was a year or two years ago. Um, but as we as we see kind of what the what the what the markets or the market and the cost of the primers seems to have stabilized a little bit at least for now. Um, hopefully, maybe that means that 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 in the the inflation effect and and the scarcity effect and all of those um, have kind of exerted their influence on on the on the price of the primers and maybe it's going to start relaxing um, and uh, um, you know fingers crossed maybe that that we'll see maybe primer prices even start going down. Um, also, another good thing is that uh, um, there are a couple of primer factories that are coming or supposed to be coming online. Um, Lapua uh, Primer Factory seems to be coming along quite well. Um, I, I've sort of unofficially heard that Fioki has a has a, a primer factory that are starting up in uh, in the U.S. And then there's another, at least there's one in Texas that that is supposedly in production. It's kind of mixed mixed kind of news I'm hearing about it, and um, and uh, uh, I've heard some of the other. A primary manufacturers that uh, uh, of, of some other primary manufacturers that have been expanding their um, uh, their production lines. So so that's good news. Um, that's good news uh, in twofold. Means that uh, primers will be coming from more different places, which means that there will be more competition. But also it means there will be more availability, and hopefully that means that because they're kind of geographically spread out, that uh, um, if something happens, then then we're not all going to be affected. Um, so in general. Uh, how is it looking for components? Well, the um, um, it's much better than it was, say, six months ago. Um, there's quite a few things that there's, we started seeing that we haven't seen some of, as I said, some of them for for even for years now. Um, but uh, um, it's still not kind of full spectrum of availability. Um, we, if you kind of if you want, kind of ask us uh, what we recommend, we still recommend. For everybody to to plan ahead for their season, um, and and make sure that they have a, um, sort of a season worth of or plan enough to to plan out what they need for for that season of shooting. Um, so that should give you enough buffer. Um, I've heard people that recommending that you should have three years worth of components, but uh, you know that's 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 quite a quite an investment, especially if you're active shooter. Um, and um, and uh, um, um, I think things are going to get better sooner, sooner than that. I think we're going to start seeing things uh, uh, coming in uh, more and more, and um, um, they are already looking better. Not as good as we want them, but uh, um, it's getting there. So that's update for uh, for today. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, don't forget to uh, uh, pop in any comments if you have any questions about uh, uh, what we talked about, and uh, if you need help uh, with uh, with finding any uh, any components, uh, we're more than welcome to. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, provide uh, any advice that uh, uh, we can. And uh, until next time, and uh, have a good day or good evening, and uh, bye for now.